From our previous videos, we have only performed a single thread operation of SQL map. But, in real life, it is not that easy. There may be hundreds of rows might present inside a table. So, it means, the operation may take a long time to complete the process. So, we may need to speed up these operations. Luckily, the developers of SQL Map have provided us with four types of optimization techniques that will help us to speed up the process. Hello everyone, I welcome all of you to a new video of this playlist, where we will be going to learn the way to speed up the process of SQL Map. Let's get started. From SQL Map Advanced Help menu, we got four types of switches, as highlighted on my screen. Let's explain them one by one. In this video, we will be going to perform this operation in a blind and time-based scenario. Go back to the home page of SQLE Labs. Here click on this link. Similar to the previous video, we have to input the ID as a parameter with a numeric value. Now, let's perform SQL map, and firstly, try to exploit this injection. Quickly open a new terminal, type SQL map hyphen u, and paste here the copied URL. Here I am going to add a new switch. The hyphen hyphen batch switch is used to enable non-interactive sessions. Once we use this switch, the interactive shell will never ask for user input, it will automatically input the default behavior. Now, we have confirmed that the injection is blind and time-based. Now, we are ready. Let's continue our topic. Previously, I have told you that SQL Map provides us with four types of optimization techniques. They are multi-threading, null connections, HTTP persistent connections, and output prediction. Let's start with multi-threading. As we have already mentioned, SQL map runs on only one single thread, which means it is darn slow. We can utilize the hyphen hyphen thread switch and specify a value for the number of threads, which ranges from 1 to 10. By increasing the thread count, it can dramatically increase the overall performance of SQL map. Let's try that out. First, let's try to dump all the tables under the database security without the threads option. Here I am going to use the time command line utility to track and monitor the time. For real-time experience, I have not fast-forwarded these clips. This process takes 98.28 seconds to dump the database. Now, let me copy this to a text editor to compare with others. Now, let's attempt to do the same with a thread count of 4. Before that, we have to remove the security directory of the following path. As it contained the logs of previously used commands. Now, Go back to the previously used command. Now add hyphen hyphen thread switch with value 4.
As you can see, the running time has decreased with additional threads. Let's go for a null connection. The null connection is enabled by the hyphen hyphen null connection command line switch. Firstly, remove the security directory. Now go back to the previously used command. Now clear the previously used switch and then type hyphen hyphen null connection. The null connection option in SQL map will try to exploit the injection without actually retrieving the full HTML body of the target. Instead, it utilizes various HTTP properties, such as range and head to retrieve a certain section of the HTML body, or just simply checks the response length to determine true and false situations. Now, if you compare it with the previous output, then you will notice, the running time has decreased significantly. Now let's explain HTTP persistent connections. By default, SQL map closes, opens, and rec loses the connection to the target server as per your requirements, but this can sometimes create a bit of overhead. In case there is an overhead, this can be optimized by using the hyphen hyphen keep alive switch which uses the HTTP's persistent connection mechanism. And the exchange of data happens over an already opened connection. Let me go back to the previously used terminal. Firstly, remove the security directory. Now go back to the previously used command. Now clear the previously used switch, and then type hyphen hyphen keep alive switch. Now, if you compare it with the previous output, then you will notice, the running time has decreased significantly. The last one is output prediction. To speed up things even further, SQL map takes a very novel approach. The output prediction switch uses a table of pre-compiled datasets containing some common outputs found during SQL injections. Firstly, remove the security directory. Now go back to the previously used command. Now clear the previously used switch, and then type hyphen hyphen predict output switch. Now, if you compare it with the previous output, then you will notice, the running time has decreased significantly. SQL map provides an option to turn on some of the flags for performance optimization by using the hyphen O switch. These flags will enable persistent connections, null connections, and multiple threads to three. This setting can be enabled to achieve rudimentary performance benefits in certain types of injections like those which are error-based. Let me go back to the previously used terminal. Firstly, remove the security directory. Now go back to the previously used command. Now clear the previously used switch, and then type the hyphen O switch. Now, if you compare it with the previous output, then you will notice, the running time has decreased, but not less than the previous switches. If you have any doubts or queries related to this video, then mention them in below comment section.